Well, hello, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. We're at Chillicothe, Ohio, and uh, it's creative arts director Daniel M James McHugh. We call him <laughs> Daniel McBoone. <laughs> and I'm Pastor Roy Rhodes of Treasures of Joy Ministries. We want to just take a time to do a little bit of a dialogue. I wanted to have Daniel share some of his heart and his dreams for 2021. I just wanted to start though by reading just this wonderful promise in Psalm 27. It says, I'm sure now I'll see God's goodness in the exuberant earth. Stay with God. Take heart. Don't quit. <laughs> I'll say it again. Stay with God. You know, God does want you to see his goodness in the land of the living, not just in heaven, but here now. And I believe that's a, a psalm of hope that this year we're going to see God's goodness in the land of the living. And Amen. so what I wanted to take a few minutes about to do is to say, say, Daniel, we've been encouraging people in some of our teachings to dream with God. What are some of your hopes and dreams for 2021? Yeah, well, that's, that's actually something I've been thinking about a lot. Um, in December, on the 17th, I just celebrated my 30th birthday. So, yeah. yes, it's a huge milestone. And um, one of the things that I felt like God was doing was he was, he was giving me a renewed sense of purpose. And so the dream that's been on my heart, at least for the last few years, has been to uh, use the creative talents that he's given me to be a catalyst for the church, to be a catalyst for uh, the body of Christ, to create new content, uh, you know, to you know, make websites and design uh, just a new image uh, for, for the people who have something stirring in their hearts. So that's, that's kind of been the dream come alive, and I've seen it kind of take, take little footholds there. Uh, so I'm looking forward to, in 2021, the next year coming up, to uh, really dive into that, to see the, the dream uh, become a reality. Well, that's exciting. I know my wife Bessie's uh, writing a book, I'm writing a children's book and another book. And so we really want to encourage the creatives to step up to the plate. Do it. <laughs> and, and Daniel, what is so, what's some practical help that they can get and how can they contact you? Because I know you've got a pretty exciting offer on your, your website. Yeah, so you were probably referring to the uh, first one free. Uh, this is something I felt like God was giving me to promote other people. Uh, there's in, in the Gospel of Luke, it says that you can't have well, you have to be faithful in another man's before you can have your own. And I think that that's actually a principle in the kingdom where God gives us opportunities to be faithful with the little things, to, to invest in other people uh, before he blesses us with, with an abundance. And so this first one free is an opportunity for me to inspire and encourage the people around me to go for it. A lot of people's creative dreams die with them. And the graveyard is one of the wealthiest places in the entire world. And it is a tragedy to think that some of the people watching this video and some of the people that we know have things that they've been holding on to for so long and have been maybe afraid to take that first step. So for me, this first one free is, is basically saying like, I'm confident in my ability to help bring the natural gold and the natural treasure that's inside of you, bring it to the surface to a point where you might even have a little bit more excitement in, in your creative dreams after you see what can be done with yeah. somebody who believes in you. And that's the thing, it's, it's, a, it's a gift of faith that the Lord's given me to invest in other people. And my creative talents may not be you know, the world's best, but they're good enough to make people look good. And that's what I'm committed to. Well, I can say, because I remember Daniel and I did our first video with this little camera phone <laughs> in Baldwin Wallace College, and oh, it was yeah. not the best quality. And I know we just were, we're, Daniel's working on a documentary, hopefully it's going to come out in the spring, and he did a promo and I thought, this guy is, can compete with Hollywood. <laughs> and so, you know, the scripture says to be faithful with the little things and you'll be faithful with much. And I can say that Daniel has been so faithful and given of his time and money and the, the excellence and quality is just phenomenal. And I know typically I'm more like, I like to touch people, but you know, I, I, I'm even taking, <laughs> I'm taking a course because we, uh, we need to, to take advantage of online ministry. And you know, I, I, talking on the phone, my wife Bessie is so much better. She's got all her little internet people she, she talks to and fantastic. Too. She's sitting over here, but uh, you know, that is so invaluable. 
and she touches people all over the world in Turkey and Iran and other places and because she's faithful and so we I know as Treasures of Joy Ministry we want to be partner with you Daniel because well, you're part of the ministry too and if this video gets we want to the the people in India to find some technical people you've got some amazing thoughts that need to be on tape yeah. and 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 those of you that some of you have books inside of you and I remember I just took a seminar because I was like oh I don't know if I should ever write a book I don't have anything positive to stay but the guy that uh, was doing the seminar said no <laughs> your your voice can change and I stopped listening to the lies now Daniel maybe talk to the people too what motivated you because I know personally because <laughs> you're like my son what helped you to get through those difficult times when you wanted to give up because I know you did many times but you yeah. didn't and now you're producing these excellent I mean the wedding videos the the stuff for our ministry it's like top I mean it's excellent yeah. what helped you get to those tough times yeah it, I mean you bring up a couple of different things and one of the biggest uh, one of the biggest obstacles, at least for creative people, is dis discouragement and criticizing. Um, everyone's a critic, honestly. Uh, <laughs> yes. There's not a single person, uh, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but there's not a single person who does anything that goes uh, scot-free from any, any critic at all. Someone right. will find something wrong with what you do, and the most important thing is that you don't take it to heart, that you have an internal guide. Uh, the Holy Spirit is, is for me and for many of the people that watch this, they would believe that God has established a firm identity, and if he's calling you to do something, he's gonna help you get better. Uh, I think a lot of people are crippled by the fear of starting, right. and that's really what this, this focus for me was. Um, I just went for it. I knew I wasn't gonna be perfect, I was gonna get better along the way, and uh, funny thing, you mentioned the documentary, The Treasures of Joy Ministries, uh, the India 2014 <laughs> film, where we didn't have an attached microphone, it was a point-and-shoot camera, it was like a $100 gift from my grandma on Christmas, and the quality was just, God awful, but the thing oh. is, we went there and the story became a, a reality for me. Yeah. I started to have my eyes open to what God was doing. And a lot of people are like that. They're living in the story of their life right. and they haven't seen it for what it really is. They haven't seen it for how powerful it is and they don't actually respect or value the gift that they carry because they're thinking like, oh, this is just me taking my camera to take pictures. Right. They don't realize that a documentary is being birthed and it doesn't have to be perfect. It can be raw, it can be uncut, it can be unrefined. But right. the thing is, treasure is treasure. And somebody looks at it and says, you know, this has raw potential. This has something that if I do a little bit of exercise, a little bit of practice, I could see some really great things in this. And this next, trip to India that we went on in, in February 2020, that was amazing. There was such intentionality there. I brought much, <laughs> much higher quality gear. Yes. But the thing is, there was an investment that I made in myself. And not everybody has somebody to offer a helping hand. Sometimes, and I'm going to speak directly to you, sometimes you have to be willing to bet on yourself before anybody else will. You must be willing to believe that you have something to offer even if nobody believes you because if you're a creative person like you are just like me and Roy of Bessie and, and the folks that we talk about there's something in you that's unshakable and it's the spark of brilliance it's the same spark that the creator of the universe has inside of him because we were made in his image we were created by a creator to be creative and there's something to be said when you release that imagination that partnership with heaven comes to it comes to life in a new way. And so I'm so convinced that by serving other people, it'll be a catalyst for growth, that I'm willing to sacrifice one full year of my time and energy and creative ability to invest into the kingdom because I believe it's coming back to me. Everything that you yeah. sow, you're gonna reap. You know, God is not, he's not gonna be mocked in that way. Uh, he says it in his word, what you sow, you'll reap. So I believe that. Well, I'm so honored to see growth in your life because you know what I've always shared with yeah. you is you start with a little boy's lunch and then you True. give it to Jesus and watch him multiply it and I've seen that you know we started with a little videography <laughs> you know <laughs> a little wasn't camera. very good my speaking wasn't very good <laughs> you know I probably picked my nose too many times or something you know but uh, it's like you give what you have right not what you don't have 
and watch God bless it. And I've seen that literally in hundreds of lives. Uh, you're I'm most excited about because you, you know, you blessed me so much. And um, so, you know, I, I'd like for you to pray for people right now, yeah. especially those creatives. We really believe this year is that it's going to be a year of spiritual breakthrough. And Daniel and I in particular, we, we really love the creatives. We want to see, I, I was excited. Um, I'm sitting in Chillicothe, Ohio, and one of my friends that we used to sing in the choir together in, in, when, in Chillicothe High School, well, he just got voted the producer of the year for, wow. for Bluegrass Music, Jerry Sally. That's awesome. And you know, I'm, I'm thinking back when we were in high school and singing off key, and now this guy's the producer of the year. He's a beautiful singer, songwriter. And it's like, he just said, look, I have a dream. I, I want to go for it, and I want to be a country music star. Well, now, I mean, he's he was a, nominated for a Grammy, and I just think it's Chillicothe, Ohio. <laughs> it's not the most notable place. It's not New York City or yeah, right. Hollywood, but it's like people had a dream, and we said, look, we're going to go for it. Yeah. So I'd like for you to, to speak into, prophesy, pray, whatever, to those creative people that have a dream. And now, it could be music, it could be poetry, or it could be that you want to build houses. I know another friend of ours, you know, he's a very talented engineer, and and, and uh, he had a nice job, but he, he felt like, gee, if I start my own business, I could do so much better. And now he's got like three employees, or I don't know how many, but and I, he's doing very well. He took a risk, yeah. and he's prospering. And I believe that there's those people that have been so inundated with fear because of the pandemic or the election or whatever, protesting or whatever, it's time for them to say, look, I'm going to go for it. And so, Daniel, I, would, I, I just like you to pray into that, just whatever God has you do, because I've seen how God's done that in your life, and I believe that God's given you that authority or whatever yeah. to be able to release it in other people's lives. Absolutely. Um, one thing to say, too, is like there's a testimony for how I started to obtain most of the gear that I use right now, and it was, it was an exercise in faithfulness. Um, I was going on a trip to Peru. This was outside of our ministry, but with uh, Bethel School of Supernatural Ministry. And we had a ministry uh, missions trip there. And I had a backpack with a camera and everything. And somebody broke into my car, stole all my stuff. And I was blessed to have a job where I could just buy it all again. <laughs> and so I bought it all again. I got a bunch of video footage. And uh, the next year, I felt like the Holy Spirit was telling me, I want you to give your entire kit, give it all away to this, wow. to this children's church in the villages of Iquitos, Peru. And I was faithful to that. I, and I, I called up the pastor who was planning the trip. I said, here's what I want to do. I want to give this whole kit to uh, Juan Carlos. I said, this is, I just feel like he's the guy. I feel like he's the one. And so I was faithful to that. And not more than a day later, I'm checking my bank account, $5,000 deposit into my bank account, a wire Amazing. transfer. Literally, there's no traceability. I have no idea. I called the bank. I said, what's, what's going on? Apparently some bank account in New York City wiretapped me and sent me $5,000. It was never corrected. It was a gift. And the thing is, <laughs> keeping in mind this amazing testimony, like I was in, inside, I was stirred up for upgrade. <laughs> I was believing like, I have this, but this is like, you know, the first step because I invested in myself. Right. But the second step was I want to get to that next level where I can right. start to produce quality content that looks professional. I might not be a pro yet, but I want to look the part and I want to grow into right. it. So I was forecasting and prophesying into where I want to be. And on my Amazon account, I had added a bunch of things into my wish list. <laughs> and uh, I want to encourage some of you watching, if there's something in your heart that requires gear, equipment, tools, pieces, whatever it is, put your wish list together and trust right. that God is going to give you an opportunity to you receive it. You can see that. it, you can have it. Exactly. But here's <laughs> the thing. There was a seed of faith that I had to have and there was a partnership because I believe God often calls us to generosity before we receive the sure. abounding generosity because that which we give, we receive back tenfold, right. hundredfold. Like it's incredible to think that I gave away about a thousand dollars worth of gear and I got five thousand dollars back. Amen. It was an incredible upgrade. God provided so much for me. And it was at a time when I was so discouraged. I was, uh, I was definitely locking my doors and keeping my camera equipment inside the house, never to be broken into again. But I want to bless the people watching it. And if you're watching this now and you're unsure where to start, I want to bless you right now with the seed of promise that God is giving you. There is a seed of greatness in you. He has not called you to a life of mediocrity. 
He hasn't called you to a life of wondering what your purpose is. He actually has a plan for you. He actually has a unique design. It was the reason why you were created. And I want you to, to imagine that he's given you a seed. You're holding that seed. And you're gonna plant that seed and allow it to take root. You have to be faithful. You have to be faithful to take care of it and yes. to nurture it. A seed is not a full grown tree overnight. Patience, patience, because the best things in life take the time to grow. And you're not gonna bear fruit when the seed is planted. Give it time. So I bless you right now with the seed of faith to believe in the promises that have been spoken, to believe in the dreams that you have that have not yet become a reality, but to have patience. And I bless you right now with an increased measure of patience to allow the process of heaven, the process of the kingdom of God to take form in your life. And I breathe right now an encouragement over you that you would hear the voice of God leading you. You would hear him speaking to you. Those who have no sense of clarity, who have a lack of vision, right now are being invited to be recalibrated. I bless you with the mind of Christ that you would see your perspective would become his. And that transformation and that shift will be permanent. There is no small thinking happening after this day. There will be no limited perspective after this day, but you will have yes. heavenly perspective to see things the way that God does. And I bless you right now from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet to go forth and to do great exploits because Jesus is the most famous person in all of history, but he is going to be made even more famous because of the works that are in you. All of creation is groaning for the revelation of the sons and daughters of, yes. of the King of Kings. It's time for us to step out. Amen. Amen. You know, and I want to pray while we kind of close here, many people have suffered loss, either loss financially, loss of uh, loved ones. You know, two of our pastors died in our ministry in yeah. India, and it, it hurts, uh, I feel, that loss. I mean, there's people that are lost in relationships, divorces or breakups or whatever. And so I just feel like uh, I just want to speak into that too. So just pray with me too. Lord, I, I, I pray right now for those that are in the sound of my voice that have experienced loss, that you're the God of restoration. And so I pray just like Job, that you'd restore them double, triple fold. I pray that you'd comfort them now in their time of loss as they go through the grieving process, that Lord, that you would come out as the, the one that they can look to and find safety. And so I speak into that now in Jesus' name. And that during this time that you would replace fear with your perfect love. Yes. And I thank you that your goodness is going to transcend the difficulties that we have faced and even the difficulties ahead. And we know that we trust in you, Lord. Our times are in your hands and we bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, we just thank you for this uh, new year, 2021. We are anticipating great things we have a lot of hope yeah. our ministry is about healing outreach opportunity prayer presence and encouragement and empowerment hope yeah. and so we we send hope to you today and we expect great things <laughs> in jesus name this is pastor roy rhodes and pastor evangelist <laughs> creative arts director david daniel james McHugh, and uh uh, especially to our Indian pastors, if you get to see this, we love you. We we are feeling the pain of the loss around you, but we're 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 declaring that there's breakthrough, especially in COVID in India and through, with persecution. We're declaring that that good things are going to happen. So keep keep setting the pace for us and seeing miracles happen. We love hearing the stories, and we're excited about what God is ahead for us all. Yeah. I just wanted to close our time but by helping you do something practical. Uh, Daniel is offering some services, and so I'm going to give him an opportunity to tell how he, you can practically be involved. Yeah. So if you're watching this and the thought of taking that next step in the creative process is, is just kind of stirring around, uh, a few things that you might consider uh, as far as gifts that I can bring uh, are obviously video. I've been doing a lot of video. So if you've got a website, you've got you know a business, you've got some sort of 
uh, a project where a video can help, an interview style video, a uh, promotional video, it, it doesn't matter. I've got the, the gear and the talent to make it happen. Photography, you want to do a podcast, you've got a logo that you need designed. I just recently did a logo uh, for a new fitness brand and uh, it can even be just a creative passion project. Let's, let's not make it as complicated as you have to have a full-fledged business you're going for. Uh, one of my friends, she's messaged me about this opportunity and she right. said, hey, I saw your, your promotion, your video. Uh, I've got a group of girls that are gonna do a dance video to enter into the new year. Uh, can you make like, a, like a, a video edit montage? And I said, absolutely. I got you. So it's like one of those kind of things where if you have something, uh, whether it's a camera operation or it's one of those technical skills, I'll be able to offer it. And you can find out a lot more on my website. Uh, so DanielJamesProductions.com. Uh, there should be a link here at the bottom of this video once we get it live. So that's probably the best way. Reach out. Uh, contact information is there as well as the opportunity to get you know, and get say the, the message out. Link again, Daniel James Productions. Yeah, DanielJamesProductions.com. Like I said, it'll be down at the bottom there in right. the description. Uh, so you'll be able to click that link, go to the website, check out the page. It's hashtag first one free. That's the promo. So if you've got some content, uh, look for that hashtag as well. And we will do the best we can to continue to bring the kingdom of God into perspective. Well, thank you so much. We really want to see you make progress this year. And Daniel's very graciously offered to give you some tools. And um, so let's let's change change the world, make history. Yeah. This is Pastor Roy Rhodes from Treasures of Joy Ministries.